planet in thanking herself for the hospitality. It is the fourth time for us as ISW and SAW women to be here in three years. And this hospitality comes from the generosity, but also the feeling, the sense of hospitality of herself. It's a feeling, it's a deep feeling, I agree. And um, even if this is a very difficult moment for the country, for the Greek people, for the party, for the president Papandreou, to whom go all my esteem, solidarity and affection, and esteem, solidarity and affection of all Socialist International Women. Unfortunately, it's a very difficult moment in so many parts of the world, I would say all over the world, but the fact is that the world needs a complete change. We do not only have to humanize globalization, we need to humanize the whole world. Under speaking of big difficulties, uh, of course, our attention is uh, on the Arab region. Another part of the world which is going through a difficult process whose origin rises from the rejection of sustainability and demand for democracy. We have discussed this topic for two days continuously in our council, the Council of Socialist International Women, and uh, really we stress that people from the Arab region have been staging brave, I underline, brave demonstrations, and uh, the events of this half year have proved to be at the same time, full of tragedy and hopes, as uh, Professor Mona Madrane Bell said this morning. Uh, it is hopeful change that gives impetus to this movement, and it is courage which backs people's action. And we cannot, really, we cannot let them down, also because we are in debt to these people who have been blind for so long. Notwithstanding the early warnings, it was said that the Arab Spring has taken the world by surprise. What a shame. Because the signs were there, and only now we see them clearly, but they were clear before too. And uh, listen, we knew about no freedom of press, we knew about no freedom of information, oppression of minorities, persecution of dissidents, tribalism, corruption, nepotism, but we were blind. And also, but not so much women, eh? we were not blind about the patriarchal organization of society, which kept and are still keeping women in a subordinate position to men. We were not totally segregated. And uh, we need the people's uprise against dictatorship to take off our ponytails. We are sorry for that. We feel totally neglected. 